Let me first start with a brief background about hormone receptor positive metastatic breast cancer. Hormone receptor positive HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer is the most common form of metastatic breast cancer. It's initially treated with endocrine therapy with without CDK4-6 inhibitors, but eventually patients have disease progression requiring chemotherapy, but the response to standard chemotherapy agents is low. In particular, patients with visceral metastases have a poor prognosis. So clinically, there's an unmet need to develop better therapies for patients with treatment refractory hormone receptor positive breast cancer, particularly those with visceral metastases. So we conducted a basket trial evaluating the efficacy and safety of sasituzumab govitecan. Sasituzumab govitecan is an antibody drug conjugate it targets trope 2, which is present in multiple solid tumors, including hormone receptor positive breast cancer and triple negative breast cancer. The linker is a hydrolyzable linker, and the active payload is SN38, which is the active metabolite of irinotecan. And this antibody drug conjugate can deliver up to 136 times more SN38 as compared to irinotecan alone. So in a basket trial, we evaluated the safety efficacy of this agent. It included patients with breast cancer, lung cancer, urothelial cancer. At ASCO, we are presenting the results of patients who had hormone receptor positive HER2 negative breast cancer. So in terms of the patient population, this was a heavily pretreated patient population. Patients had received a median of five prior lines of therapy for metastatic disease, a median of three prior hormonal agents, and a median of two prior chemotherapy agents. And in this heavily pretreated population, we saw a confirmed objective response rate of 31% with 17 partial responses. We also saw that the responses were durable with a median duration of response of about 7.4 months. The responses usually occurred early, but there were some patients who had late responses. In terms of the adverse effect profile of this agent, the two most common side effects seen were neutropenia as well as diarrhea. The incidence of febrile neutropenia was low and the incidence of grade three, grade four diarrhea was low. As comparison, the incidence of grade three, grade four diarrhea with irinotecan is about 30%, but with this agent, it was in single digits. So this was in a basket trial. The next steps are evaluating this in a randomized trial so that we can bring this agent to patients who have hormone receptor positive HER2 negative breast cancer, essentially seeking an approval for hormone receptor positive HER2 negative breast cancer by conducting a clinical trial. Uh, the compound is being evaluated for triple negative breast cancer as well and we presented the results at San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium last year and based on those results the company has filed for a BLA application of sasituzumab govitecan for triple negative breast cancer. So this was in patients who were heavily pretreated. Now we are in discussions about moving this agent in earlier lines of metastatic breast cancer as well as early breast cancer. In terms of combinations, potentially this could be combined with PARP inhibitors because of the DNA damaging nature of SN38. And there are um, results from preclinical experiments which suggest that combination of this agent with PARP inhibitors would be synergistic. So that's one option to consider. The second would be combining this with immunotherapy.